Fresh Start fam. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is April and this is April's Fresh Start Budgets, where money and budgeting doesn't have to be intimidating and every day is a new opportunity to make a fresh start with financial decisions that'll help you win with money. So today we will be working on our first paycheck of February. We will be cash stuffing $1,310 in prop money. All right, so let's go ahead and get started and count these bills. We have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, and 10. All right. So how are you guys doing today? We've had some sun lately, so that is wonderful. And as you guys can see, we have a fully funded I'll tell you guys about that in a minute. Let me go ahead and get out the binder. All right, so the first one that we will be working on is our electric bill. This one has 15 in it. It is getting 100, so we will have a total of 115 in there. All right, phone and internet. This one has nothing in it. I told you guys in our last video of our January wrap-up that uh, I added my oldest son to my phone plan, so our phone bill got a little bit bigger and um, I had to use what was in here to pay for a few things. He did actually pay me back today, so I just uh, haven't cashed that out yet. So, But we'll put $100 in here. And then we have dining and entertainment. In here we do have a little bit of leftovers. We have 20 30 35 36 37 38 39 in dining and entertainment so in january there was martin luther king day which my youngest son and my husband were off um so they went to the aquarium and they had a good time there and then went out to a new lunch spot and um of course, football season was still happening and playoffs and stuff, so my husband did go out with his friends periodically. So that's where most of that money went, but we are going to add 450 to it today. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, and 50, 20, 40, 50. So we will have a total of 489. In dining and entertainment. Clothes. My husband did get a new pair of pants. I ordered them from for him. Uh, they should be coming tomorrow, but we did use a little bit of this for that. So we have 56 left in here. We are getting 80 in this. 20, 40, 60, 80. So now we will have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 135, 136. My husband really doesn't buy clothes very often. So whenever he says I need something, I just, well, I go ahead and order it because he really wears his clothes out till they're literally in scraps. So if he says he needs something, he he's beyond needing it. Home and auto. All right, guys, this is story time. So this envelope is empty and uh, kind of a situation happened. So we went to the library and my son found an Xbox game that he wanted to play and we brought it home and my husband dug the Xbox out from the basement. So the back of the, one of the controllers where the batteries are, the little cap that covers it wasn't there. So we put the batteries in the remote and the, everything works fine, but we don't have the cap to cover it. So my son was playing his Xbox game. He beat a boss. He jumped up super excited that he beat the boss, spun around in a circle. One of the batteries came flying out of the remote and hit the TV. And there is a very, there's not a crack. So when the TV's off, you can't see it. But when the TV's on, and I'll insert a picture here, there's lines across the TV going vertical and horizontal. So we were originally like, it's not a big deal. We'll just deal with it. This was about a week ago, a little less than a week ago, I think. Um, but 
to be honest with you, watching the TV, and I don't watch much TV. It's mostly a playroom TV, so my son does watch it the most, and it's where the video games are. It can be distracting, so my husband did mention that the two best times a year to buy a TV is Black Friday or the week before the Super Bowl. So we decided to just go ahead now that the deals are just all over and buy a TV to replace that one. So my son feels so bad. He was absolutely devastated beyond crying. He put himself in timeout. He grounded himself. He told us we could have all of his money that he's been saving and his savings challenges for his Legos. He just felt terrible. So we told him we would make a deal that we would replace the TV, but he has to do some chores around the house in order to help pay for the TV. Um, so we did use all this money for that. In fact, we're going to put $500 in it, but we're probably going to have to take some of that money out too. I did put it on my Costco card and I haven't gotten the bill for that yet, but I, we're probably going to have to take some out and then we have to get a TV mount for it too. So this is getting 500, but yeah, things happen. <laughs> I feel bad. I, I mean, I, I do feel bad for my son. He, it wasn't his fault that the cap wasn't on the battery thing. And he was beyond distraught. When I tell you he was beyond, dist he, he was devastated when that, when that happened. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. I think it's just a lesson, you know, he's going to learn. You got to be careful. You can't, and we definitely have taped up the back of the remote now. So new phone. I did make a payment on my cell phone. Um, I have $50 left in here because I didn't want to use the whole thing. I, I wanted to make full, my payments are like $43. So I wanted to do like a full two payments or something. So I think I left a 50 in here, but um, I think I'm going to make another two or three payments here pretty soon. So we're going to add 80 to this. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80. So we'll have 130 total. I'd like to pay off my phone as soon as possible, but I didn't want to pay it off everything because just in case my son needed, when he got his new phone, if he needed something. So he was able to get his phone for free on the plan. And then he paid for, I did pay for the case and everything while we were there because I'm the owner of the plan, but then he just paid me back today for it when he got paid. So, all right, car insurance. So the fully funded gets to go in the car insurance. I am very excited about this. So a couple videos ago I had mentioned how I was calling around to a bunch of different car insurance companies trying to find lower coverage and I wasn't able to find any. Well, I contacted an insurance company. Um, they had I had originally contacted their national number and they said the way to get the best deals was home and auto, but then they said they wouldn't cover me on my home at all because we did not have a fully fenced in yard and we have a pool. So they said in order to be covered at all, I would need to fully fence in my yard. I told them that's gonna be like at least $20,000 because we have almost a full acre. I'm not doing that. So they said they wouldn't cover me. Well, then like a week later, I get a letter in the mail from a local agent for this, this national company. And he says he can give me home insurance for like a quarter of what I'm paying now, or I was paying previously. So I contacted him and I said, you know, I fully expected him to say, oh, you already talked to our national call center and they told you this. Yes, that's accurate. We can't cover you. Peace out. Whatever. I called him and I told him what the national person told me. And he said, that is not accurate. He said, as long as I told him we have an above ground pool with a deck, the deck has a gate on it. The gate has a latch on it. The latch is always has a combination lock on it. The only t three people that know the combination code is myself, my husband, and my oldest son. My youngest son doesn't know it. None of my other family members know the combination. And you can't really get into the pool unless through this gate and the, up the deck. My husband is six foot four and it would be almost impossible for him to get into the pool without going up the deck first because we have a really tall above ground pool. So the agent said, no, that's, you were told incorrectly. We can take care of you. He gave me a quote and it was cheaper for home and auto. And actually we pay auto insurance through the new company every six months. So instead of paying $1,300 for the year, I only have to pay 
550 for every six months. So the old insurance company sent me back all of my money and I am now fully funded for the next six months on my new insurance. So I was able to save a couple hundred on auto and probably like three or 400 on, no, actually like four or 500 on homeowner's insurance. So thank goodness for that. That's wonderful. I'm so excited about that. So that is it for these things. I also wanted to do a new thing called What Else Wednesday. So I just told you guys a couple stories about me, but I wanted to also let you guys know some other things. I know some people really like the more personal aspect of it, and I consider you guys all family, so I want to get to know you guys as much as possible. I'm thinking maybe you guys would want to get to know me. So over the weekend, I was going to the... Cleveland home and garden show with my mom and my sister. We had a fantastic time. Basically, the they take over this whole massive warehouse, massive, massive, absolutely massive warehouse. Um, and then they fill it with over 500 exhibitors. And there's like 13 aisles of people that you could walk up and down. They set up like three or four full houses in there and gardens and pools. I'll show some pictures here and you walk around and you can meet everybody and get ideas for planning your home, home improvement projects, meeting people, get quotes, whatever. Um, so we went there over the weekend and had an absolute wonderful time. I actually did decide that I'm going to use some of the money. I did spend about $60 while I was there. So I did decide I'm going to use some of the money from one of my savings challenges, the Happy New Year one, because we were supposed to do the Igloo experience and we didn't end up doing that. I haven't been able to reschedule it yet. So I think I'm going to use $60 from that to recoup the $60 that I spent at the Home and Garden Show. Um, and I'll be doing that. And then the other thing I wanted to share with you guys, I know some people share recipes that they make, so I wanted to share with you guys, this is something that I make a couple times a year, and it seems to be a family favorite, so I figured I would share it with you guys. It is a broccoli cauliflower salad. It's basically one head of broccoli, one head of cauliflower. I usually do two heads of broccoli because the cauliflower that I get is pretty big, and my son really loves broccoli. And then a red onion, one pack of bacon cooked and crumbled. I can use, cook that, or I can do um, prepackaged crumbles like I have here. And then cheese cubes. In the winter time or in the fall time, I will add dried cranberries and pumpkin seeds, but I didn't this time because my husband doesn't prefer those. He says that they just add more calories and he's really trying to be low, low healthy right now. So I didn't add those. And then the dressing that I make with it, it is a coleslaw dressing and I'll have that recipe here. I actually double it. So I wanted to show you guys this. This is something I will make it in a huge batch. I like to make it before like Memorial Day and Labor Day and 4th of July parties because I can make it the day before and it actually, the red onions marinating in that coleslaw dressing overnight, it's absolutely delicious. So it's easy to prep it the day before and then serve it. The next day but typically what I do and if I'm just making it for at home is like tonight I made it and I will have a bowl of it every day for lunch for the week and it is absolutely amazing so I'll share that recipe with you guys down below what else do you guys want to know about me so I figured this segment of what else Wednesday would be something that I could introduce and show little snippets of my life to you guys. Since we are a fresh start family, I'd like to get to know my family a little bit better. And then the, and then the typical bigger $300 savings challenge thing, I will be doing that actually this weekend. So I haven't gotten to the bank yet. I will be able to go this weekend. So I'll be doing that this weekend. So keep a lookout for that. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much and have a good night. Bye-bye.